United Fan TV. We got a pretty well-deserved win, but also maybe got flattered by uh, the scoreline. Um, but, you know, VAR was definitely on our side today. What did you guys think? Um, we, we had a little shaky start, but we got our feet under us, and uh, we, we played really well. We created chances, and we played stout defense. Uh, Miles Robinson did really well, and Ambrose did really well, and Gressel did very well. So um, all around, it was a good game. I can't really complain about anything. Uh, LAFC is a good team. They're young, and they're going to be a contender. So that's, that's my thoughts. Uh, piggybacking off what he said, uh, coming into today, uh, when I saw the lineup, you know, I was, I was kind of nervous seeing Robinson back there, but I was excited to see him back there as well. He, you know, he was one of our first draft picks in the history of the club. It's great to see him out there and working. Uh, it always seems to be the same story. Like we always are very like slow to start off. The score line is very like, it, it's it's not indicative of how the game really went to me. Yeah, yeah, it was a lot closer game than how it appears off the score sheet. But, I mean, at the end of the day, we got the three points. That's what mattered the most. Uh, like to see Robinson out there. Love to see Ambrose out there, Kevin Kratz out there, even Andrew Carlton. Whenever he steps on the field, it's like a different atmosphere in that, in that stadium. Great win. All I got to say is Tata must have given a hell of a halftime speech because first half looked terrible. The passes were not crisp. Crosses were terrible. and we, we dealt with that all last season. The crosses were never that great. So we're still working on that. But um, come second half, even in the first 15, 20 minutes of the second half, it was kind of rough there uh, in that regard. But uh, once we got that second goal, that really kind of propelled us forward. And then, of course, piggyback on what they were saying, uh, the red card kind of helped us out and, uh, you know, gave us a few extra goals. But I'm not, not taking any, anything away of uh, Williams' goal. That, that, was, that was an amazing finish. So. On three guys. Uh, Fantastic finish. Yeah, Beat him that close, goals. so that was incredible. Exactly. Well, uh, our crossing game, I think, definitely has improved. I mean, our first two goals were from crosses, Mickey, Gressel. Um, is this a spot that uh, Gressel, he's going to have to, you know, like Tato's going to have to, like, rip him out of, out of that position because I think he's submitted himself a spot for at least a while. Yeah, I was uh, weary of five at the back when we first, you know, put it out. But Gressel's done very well. And I mean, today it looked flawless. I mean, they, they applied a lot of pressure and we did look a little suspect on the ball at times, but I mean, that's something over time that we're gonna grow into. And I think that's our path forward to continue that back five. But yeah, Gressel, yeah, he's, uh, he's something else, man. He's doing fantastic. Should, uh, should Miles get more time now? That uh, he's, We've seen how he's, uh, he's done. His defensive actions were uh, good enough. His uh, distribution. What do you think? There was that one, uh, that one breakaway, that one on one with uh, with Guzon, and I mean, like he, we didn't even see him. He came out of nowhere and just fully stopped that. I, I love the effort. I love what I saw from him today. But earning that spot on the pitch all comes from practice. So if he wants that spot, he's going to have to earn it. He put in a lot of work today for it, though. Yeah. yeah. Also, I would like to add, it's going to be difficult when I mean Perez. He's our best defender, in my opinion. So. I don't know if necessarily he could fit back there. I mean, I guess he would fill in for McCann because I guess that's McCann's is not his natural position. So I'm guessing that's where he could play. And I definitely look forward to seeing him get more appearances over the year, especially when our schedule gets more, you know, tight. So it's a great sign. It's a good good sign, and he should definitely get some more appearances out there. I want to go ahead and, to go ahead and highlight again that the man of the match, Julian Gressel. So, so two things. The confidence is increased and the vision is incredible. Because if you talk, if you compare him against the 10 other players in the field, I mean, he's playing incredible balls like throughout the game. Even him, he likes shining the first half too. So, I mean, he's become a great distributor. I mean, even on the level of uh, Miggy today. So, I mean, he's, he's been good. So, definitely well deserved, man of the match. Sure. Shout out, Julian. <laughs> he's definitely listening. No, he's not. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, so VAR, um, what did you think of it today? Obviously, it was on our side. Thoughts on it? Well, I think it was a little slow. <laughs> I mean, they took forever to, yeah. they, they had the ball at the corner and they really couldn't figure it out for a couple of minutes and just yeah. keeping the crowd on their feet. And, and but, they, you know, in the end, they reevaluated and it was, you know, well-deserved penalties, so. Uh, I mean, as like you guys know, like we're big watchers of European football and, you know, there's been a lot of discussion about bringing it into Champions League and bringing it to these major leagues all around the world. Um, we talk about it all the time. Like, it can, it can be your best friend but it also it also can be your enemy. Today it was our it was our good friend. Uh, I I mean a red card in the first minute of the game. Send it. That was yeah gets like that was I mean that was so that's frustrating. Right yeah that was, yeah that's a game changer. Like, you take away that red card and 
I mean, if that VAR isn't there and that red card stands, it's a whole other game. So. I would li I'm a Bayern Munich supporter, and he is a Real Madrid supporter, so I want to take us back to last year, Champions League. Um, you know, Ronaldo scored two goals that were offside, and that ruined my day, my month, my year. So really, VR is a fantastic thing, and it goes for the good guys every time. Is this, is this Bayern Munich fan TV or just, Atlanta United fan TV? Because it needs to be implemented in other leagues, man. Oh, my I goodness. guess he's saying, yeah, like for like, uh, VAR should be uh, implemented in more leagues. So Everywhere. I get it. It should I get be it. World Cup, everything. I got no problem with it. Yeah, the timing, it's got, they got to figure it out. But we, it's two different perspectives. Like I said, it could be your best friend. It could be your best enemy. Yeah, Me personally, facts. I, feel like it takes, I feel like it takes away from the game, man. I really do. I think it shows the truth, and at the end of the day, the ref still has to make the call to go to it or not. So, I mean, right. what can you say? All right. Well, uh, back to Atlanta United. Uh, we uh, <laughs> we get a well-deserved win. We move on to next week. Uh, what do you guys think about next week? Oh, I look forward to seeing Via out there, man. I, I really look forward to seeing Via out there. Very sad Chase can't be with us to watch that. I can't make that he's game. Actually, yeah. He's going back to New York. That's yeah, very right. sad. <laughs> uh, very crucial game, though. Uh, we get a chance to overtake them. Uh, and I, I mean, I'm really hoping we put out a good lineup for that. I really hope we perform for that match. Uh, I just in really good form. I know they're in really good form. But I mean, can you take it away from us? We're on pretty good form as well. I, it's gonna be a great match. I look forward to it. 3-2 us. 3-2 us. Oh, Chase actually predicted the score line. Today. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, dude. You, you playing the lottery today? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> he got pretty close to it, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be a good game. Okay.